Derby County have a crazy situation in which they've got to deal with. Jerry Yates on loan from Swansea City is going to be missing the upcoming fixture as a result of his loan spell. Now, obviously, this is something which Derby County will have anticipated and expected since making this deal in the summer. But the big question for me is who is going to fill in his shoes. Now, at the start of the season... Uh, I probably would have expected Derby County to bring in another striker so that we didn't have to deal with this situation. And now we've got a situation where Derby County and Paul Warren have to make a decision between who is going to step in to that number nine role. Now, if you've been following along with the channel, you know we cover all the games, uh, previews, reviews, match day vlogs, and all Derby County news. So if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on that notification bell, hit the like button as well to help push this video to brand new audiences. And if you're interested in securing yourself some Derby County team gear or team gear from anybody else, check out kit bag down in the description. There's some big sales on at the moment with it being Black Friday, some massive reductions on some of your favourite club's items. Now, Derby County have a choice to make. Is it going to be James Collins? Are we going to play James? Are we going to play James Collins through the middle? Are we going to play Dejan Brown through the middle? Are we going to play Caden Jackson through the middle? Are we going to stick with the two striker set that we've played for the last couple of away games with uh, Dejan Brown and Jerry Yates? And who is going to be that partner to Dejan Brown? There's some big questions to answer now. A lot of people probably underestimate the importance of Jerry Yates this season because. He's not necessarily scored the most goals. He's not necessarily got the most assists. He's not necessarily done the end goal, let's say. But he's been so important in Derby County's build-up play. And I think we've seen it since the start of the season. Since he first stepped into the team, we've looked a much better outfit. And the big problem that Derby County do face in that final third is getting people involved in the game. And I think Jerry Yates is very, very good at getting that done. But the problem that we have now is we're not going to have Jerry Yates. And... That's something which needs to be dealt with as soon as possible. Now, for me, I personally would go with Dejan Brown, uh, but I wouldn't have him as a sole number nine. I'd probably go Dejan Brown and James Collins, um, or Dejan Brown in a front three with Mendes Lang and Caden Jackson, because you've got to give Dejan Brown some support. He's a 18, 19 year old kid stepping into the first team for the first real opportunities uh, for Derby County in the championship. Now, he made his first start at Coventry, he made his second start yesterday and he's done really well, in my opinion. I think he's performed really well. I think obviously there's still bits that he can improve on, but as a young kid, that's exactly what you'd anticipate. Now, obviously something which will need to be addressed is how will we then work towards a Dejan Brown? How will we then work um, towards a potential James Collins? Or, like, the thing is, there's even a chance that we could play Caden Jackson through the middle. Now, I think if you look back to Blackburn, I can't see that situation happening, in my personal opinion. Um, I don't think Caden Jackson was that good through the middle. Now, my big worry would be trying to put Mendes Lang through the middle. I think he's so heavily ineffective when he plays through the middle. I think we saw that uh, last season uh, when we played him in League One through the middle, which was obviously, uh, it was needs must at the time. We didn't have a striker. Um, so it's one of those. Now, for me, my personal favourite opinion, as I mentioned, would be Dejan Brown, but I can see why you'd go with James Collins. Give James Collins 60 minutes uh, to sort of wear down the defence with his physicality and bring on a Dejan Brown then or uh, bring on a Caden Jackson to go through the middle there. And I, I can understand why you could potentially go with that metric. Now, what would you guys like? Let me know down in the comments what you do, because I do think it's a really difficult decision for Paul Warren. You look at some of the players who could potentially step into that role. Tom Barkays and Connor Washington, Dejon Brown, James Collins, Caden Jackson. There's not really a solid option, in my opinion, where you think, oh, we're guaranteed this type of performance. Now, with James Collins, you know he's going to work, but he hasn't got the legs. He's not very quick, and ultimately he ends up in the wrong place. Dejon Brown's still very inexperienced, and playing him as a lone number nine could be costly. It might not really work. Now, you look at a Caden Jackson, ultimately, very good at this level. Um, can get on the ball, can make things happen, but ultimately, he doesn't like playing with his back to goal. And we don't really put the ball in behind as well as enough as, as much as we should, or anywhere near as well as we should. Like with the players we've got, Caden Jackson, Mendes Lang, um, obviously Corey Blackett Taylor, players like that, get them running off the shoulder. We don't seem to do that. And. 
So I don't think Caden Jackson through the middle is the smart option. Connor Washington, I can't see being anywhere near it. He might be in the squad, but I can't see him actually getting on the pitch. Uh, and Tom Barkay and again, a player who I can't see uh, getting that opportunity through the middle. I think we're more likely to probably play Kane Wilson on the right wing and Jackson through the middle than we would be to see Tom Barkay and play. So it is a very interesting situation for Derby. It's a massive decision for Paul Warren to make. What is he going to do? Because there's multiple ways to play this. Are we going to change system back to a four? Are we going to... Um, set ourselves up differently are we gonna like I, I just it's really difficult we could go really narrow and bring in uh, Marcus Harness and play Harness and uh, Kenzo behind Dejan Brown and um, then have say Ibu and Ben Osborne sitting behind them two and play sort of like a box midfield with a five you could do that couldn't you is that enough players five six seven eight nine ten yeah, yeah, you could do that behind Dejan Brown, but I just don't ultimately know if that's what we're going to do. It's a tricky situation for Derby. It's a tricky situation for Paul Warren. I think there's plenty of opportunities. There's plenty of moments now where Derby County have this busy run. I've got no idea how many games it is, but I think we play uh, two next week. Then we've got a week break and then at some point I think we play five games in 14 days which is absolutely ridiculous and the players are going to be dead but now is the time to show that you're capable of performing. Now there's a lot of talk around Corey Blackett-Taylor. There was some talk on BBC Radio Derby yesterday where Corey Blackett-Taylor came out in a, in a jacket, uh, in a coat for the warm down. Now I think that's the most ridiculous thing to try and point out, to try and cause a problem. But you know what Derby County are like. And do I think there is an issue with Corey Blackett-Taylor? Yes. But I'm not entirely sure what it is. And this is a question which should be getting asked behind the scenes. We should be trying to find out uh, what is the situation. Because we spent £300,000 on him. He was our first paid sign-in since uh, Camo Yuzviak back in 2020, maybe 2021, something like that. So, and realistically, he never hit the ground running. He's struggled with injuries. He's had a few really, really good appearances off the bench and starting this season, but ultimately never seems to get a run. It reminds me so, so much of Louis Sibley. Not in a sense of ability-wise or anything like that, because I don't think we've seen enough of Corey Blackett-Taylor to judge that, but gets an opportunity, plays well, then gets dropped or moved to positions. And I know, don't understand these types of things. So it's going to be interesting to see what Paul Warren does do with the likes of Dejan Brown, James Collins, Tom Barkays and Caden Jackson to fill out that number nine role. But it's also going to be interesting to see what happens with the likes of Corey Blackett-Taylor. Now, if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, turn on that notification bell, and I'll catch you in my next video.